Hi, welcome to Plus This. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Zoom meeting. So these are really helpful tools if you're using Zoom and you wanted to talk with ActiveCampaign more effectively. So a lot of times there's two main elements that people want this to do for them automatically with ActiveCampaign and that's one, to register and create that Zoom meeting and two, to know and track information from that meeting, like it, whether someone attended it or if they missed it. Um, the actual details that are set up in that meeting, all that kind of stuff, can, that is really important. So before we actually go ahead and start creating this uh, inside of Plus This, it's helpful to see some context inside of an active campaign automation first. So over here in the automation, I'll just give you a quick little rundown. Um, what we have here is a tag to basically start the indication that someone has registered for this meeting and that you should go ahead and start creating that meeting and store all that information on that contacts record. So we recommend using some kind of scheduling tool like Calendly where it will let you go ahead and um, pick a time. People can see your calendar, they can pick which time they want to put it in there, they put the name, email, Using Plus This, we can pull all that information into Active Campaign and go, hey, Bryce has just scheduled an appointment. It is scheduled for Tuesday at noon. Go ahead and let's put that all in his contact record and in his fields so that we can create that meeting for him specifically in Zoom. So that's kind of the context of it. Do you have to use a Calendly or an automation tool like that? No, you can set up a web form to do this too. I just think these are made to do that much more efficiently. So anyway, that's kind of the start of this thing. Then we're going to go ahead and use Plus This to create that meeting. Um, this is something called a webhook in Active Campaign. Just click on that, and you'll pick. You'll be able to make a webhook for it. When we're done setting this up in Plus This, we'll give you a little URL that you just copy and paste in here, and that is what will officially trigger Plus This to create that meeting. It'll look for Bryce's. Um, date time for his scheduled meeting and it will go ahead and create his Zoom meeting for that. So that's why we have a little bit of a wait and then we send out the reminder emails with that detail there. So one of the emails here, let's just look at it in a little bit more detail to show you some of the other things we can do. So down here we can also store the join link. So when we pick a spot to store a join link, we can just merge that in to Active Campaign by going to personalize here and finding the join link that we set up for Zoom. Um, and then also we can put in like the start date um, and time so that they know, hey, when someone's gonna actually need to show up for this thing. So that's all pretty handy. Also, because this is all an active campaign now, you can do other cool stuff with your automations like you do normally where you can put in like countdown timers, you can use SMS, um, you can trigger, you can put all your branding together. It just makes this a lot better of an experience compared to just using the default stuff that comes from Zoom or whatever platform you're kind of building this out of without it integrated into Active Campaign. So that's kind of the idea of it. And then finally, we're just gonna have a couple of goals here that indicate whether someone attended the demo or if they missed the demo and giving them appropriate follow-up based on that. So that's kind of the context to kind of give you a basic idea of how a meeting uh, can be automated with Plus This and Active Campaign. So let's go back to uh, Plus This and finish setting this up. All right, so now we're back in Plus This and I'm going to show you how to finish setting up the Zoom meeting tool here. So the first thing we're going to do is pick who the host of the meeting will be. And in this situation, I'll use myself. And then down here, we're gonna have a lot of options uh, for fields. You don't have to put in something for every one of these. I'm going to, in fact, just show you the main ones to use or that the most popular ones that people use when setting up the Zoom meeting. So in this instance, I don't need to store the topic for the meeting in my emails. I'll just write what exactly I want to share with them about that. I'm not going to require a password and um, I will want to select a date field for the start time. So we have a field for this, or this is the start date, and then down here is our start time. So I have one for our start time too. Um, so when in our situation, we're having Calendly 
people book an appointment, store this start date and time in those two fields. So that's where we're getting it. If you wanna create this automation and use your own web forms or anything like that, that's totally fine too. Um, and you just need to have a field to store the date and a field to start store the time for that meeting. And that's what you'll put into these fields right here. Those are probably one of the most important fields to know about. Cool, here's where we can tell which uh, time zone to use for those. And then we can also tell plus this how long that meeting is. I recommend doing this too. This is how plus this will know um, when to check to see if someone actually attended that meeting or didn't attend it. Then this agenda, this is totally optional. Again, I like just writing my own emails and talking about what uh, the expectations are or any of that other stuff without having to necessarily build it out in here and then just merge it in with merge fields. So we'll go ahead and just skip that too. Then down here, this is an important little piece. This is how we know that we should actually register the contact for the meeting. So just leave that on as yes. Um, and then down here is a place where you can apply a tag to say that someone has been registered. Um, in this situation, I don't really need that. Um, so I'll just show you the automation, how it will work right now and why, when you would actually use the tag for this. So um, here we're having Calendly go ahead and get the person's information. They're going to pick the date, time, all that is going to get stored in active campaign using one of our other plus this tools um, called the Calendly tool. And it will then um, go ahead and in plus this it'll apply a tag when that's done and that's what this is. So that's what kicks it off and once they come through that this is where we have our little webhook with plus this. Um, so you can go here and pick a webhook and this is what essentially will run this tool when we're done setting it up. Um, and so all of this process is just happening automatically. If instead I needed another tag after this point is hit to tell me, okay, they're registered, then let's go ahead and send the emails. You could totally do that. Um, or you, a lot of times I just have it wait for five minutes. If you're having any kind of slowdowns or seeing weirdness, go ahead and use that tag just to make sure like we don't send any reminder emails until we have seen them actually registered. So that's what that will be for. Um, so then continuing on, this is probably one of the other important fields to have, and that's a join link. So we have our little join link here, and then I will follow up with the very last part, and that is a tag for attending and a tag for non-attendees. So if we look back at this automation, uh, our final goals here after they get the reminder uh, emails is to track whether they attended or if they missed and these are just looking for specific tags and that's those are the tags we want to select in plus this so I have a tag for attended and I have a tag for missing the demo too so whatever tags I pick here I want to make sure I match up with my automations here and here for any kind of goals for that and then that will be it let's go ahead and give it a name Cool, and we're pretty much done. So this is where we'll just copy this. We'll go back to our automation and we're done with the plus this side for now. So we'll just come back here. Here's our webhook to get people registered. We'll just paste that in there. Now that's gonna actually get people registered. And then the final little thing to remind you about is the emails themselves. And when we look at this, here is where you can, um, normally your email will be blank. <laughs> and so anywhere we stored in plus this, those like join links, from our settings here, you're gonna to want to go ahead and um, use the uh, same field that we have here. So let me go to our join link. So we have our join link here. You'll go ahead and put where you want that join link to be made and you'll click on personalize and you'll look for that join link that you have here. Zoom join link, for example. Um, then same thing for the start times. You'll wanna merge in your start times for that and so on. So you are pretty much all done at this point once you've gone through that. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of an example and a use case with some context for what you're setting up here in the Zoom meeting tool. If you have any further questions, go ahead and come over to our tool information page where we have a lot more detail on all the configuration, FAQs, uh, video content, and our knowledge base right here. 
And if you need to talk to one of us, that's totally great too. You can reach us at help at plusthis.com. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Have a good day. Bye.